Why am I doing this? Why? Oh, oh god. Hey there, Ultimate Yoshi here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Bomberman 64. Every single game has to have that one level that you always remember, because it is just... It's just that level. You know? You know what I'm talking about? This is that game's that level for me. White Glacier Stage 3 is that level of Final Fantasy 64 for me. What am I got myself into? Shiny, slippy, icy floor. So yes, now we need to deal with ice physics. Anyways. We killed the penguin. Dun, 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 dun. So we got really annoying killers, really annoying ice effects. Well, it looks cool though, I'll, I'll give it that. It's a, it's a cool idea. Even the bombs come to the ice physics. I'm pressing the R button now. What the heck is that? I don't even remember what that is! Yeah. Alright. You haven't even seen the worst of it. I mean, you might think, oh, ice physics. That's mu that must be why this level is that level, right? It's just ice physics. How bad could it really be? Why is it that level? This is why. Half of this stage is played from an upside down frickin' point of view. Do you have any idea how annoying this is? Now you know why this is that level. It's really hard to do this. Target time's really fast on this level, though. Look, it's a big shiny thing. Oh, God. I believe that's a gold card over there. Let me check. That didn't work. Okay. Oh, it's a mystery pack. I don't care. I don't remember how this actually works, so I'm not going to go on to it just yet. Stop. You die too. There's a switch I need to hit over there. This is probably a gold card. Yep, it's a gold card. There's one less for me to get later. So, yeah, you can't walk up these. That's how that works. It's almost impossible to walk up a frozen slope, but with a little ingenuity, and with the help of a little momentum, you should be able to climb up that slope. Oh, I get it. Ice elevator. Okay. And now we're back in the really annoying part of the stage. We... Your controls aren't really messed up during this thing, but it's kind of hard to tell which way you're going. This isn't the way I wanted to go, is it? 
No, this is the exit. I can't be here yet because I haven't hit that switch. While this level actually isn't really that bad at all, it still remains to me to be that that level simply because of just the ice and how annoying it is when you un look underneath it. It's kind of annoying, you know? Hard to control. My control is already broken, practically. It's annoying enough to add in ice physics. And then they decided to also add in the freaking look from below effect. That certainly doesn't help anything. Whatever. It's a short level anyway, at least. It's, it is pretty short. That I'll give it that. Ah! Uh, uh, that's an annoying part. Your controls don't change. So when you try and move around and stuff... Oh, God. I'm risking it. Just try and beat this level. I don't care about it. But oh boy, getting the gold cards in this level. Fun, fun, fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bum, 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 bum. I'll take a penguin with me. How about that? Aw, he left! He must not have wanted to come on the magic sleigh ride. Ski lift. Whatever. So, it's not hard, but oh dear god is it annoying, and I do not look forward to getting gold cards in this level. <laughs> but, for now, I guess it's time to fight against the boss of this world. Spider! Cold Killers. Actually, this guy is called Mantis. Bing, bing, bing. Ow. That hurt me. So far, this thing is the most effective at killing me. Even, even Hades didn't kill me that easily. Brilliant. So, we have ice physics in an ice boss that can kill you in one shot. With a slash of its claws. I guess technically everything in this game is one shot kill. Like your bombs, for instance! Those are a one-shot kill!
I'm having trouble hitting him. I broke his face. Creepy. Ah! I believe if you stay under him, good things happen. It's kind of tough to try and, like, hit him when there's a possibility that your bomb could hit you at the same time. Ooh, he's walking on the wall. That's actually a good time to hit him. As I don't hit him at all. At all! Apparently I can't hit him at all. Seriously, what the heck is wrong with me? Whoa. Whoa. Eh. I can't hit him! He's hard to hit, okay? He's hard to hit. I've already lost the target time. Maybe I should just let him kill me, but I need to figure out how to hit him first. Okay, that I hit him with. That I hit him with, but I killed myself. Was he just gonna try and kill himself? Huh. I guess we'll see when we get to that point in the battle again. Let's try this again, shall we? Once more with feeling. By the way, you get gold cards for breaking his flashy things. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Or that one. There we go, I hurt him. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. This is a hard boss, you know? He is kind of tough. This is recording 13, so stands the reason that I would be unlucky. I already broke his leg. God! She's like, what did I do? That's a, actually, that's something that can happen if you stay under him for a little bit. He can't see you. Apparently, it doesn't always work. Pick up a bomb. Thank you. Not even underneath you, what the heck? What's wrong with you, man? Yes. <laughs> well, it certainly is killing me a lot. But I think it's mostly due to your user error. And me not, you know, playing well in any sense of the word. Prime example. I think I'm out of continuing anyway. Uh, title screen, shenanigans. This is gonna be the rest of the video, isn't it? The thing I wasn't even that worried about is gonna take longer than the level I was worried about. Sigh! This will probably be somewhat long if I can't beat this guy soon enough. Come on, he's not that difficult. FIRST ATTACK! FOUR 
seconds in! What is wrong with me? Seriously! Seriously, what am I doing wrong? I'm just playing badly at this rate. Um. <sighs> okay. I already broke this thing. I only hit it once. I only hit that one once! I'm not even gonna question it. I can't even- I can't imitate Bomberman's voice at all. I don't know why I tried. I broke his face! I killed myself and him at the same time! It doesn't even play the continue music. That's just how broken that hap that what just happened was. I wish I had a heart. Why can't this be like Mega Man 2 where I can kill the boss and get away with it while when I die? Oh, he's doing this. Okay. Away from me, you stupid antibody things. Alright, I need to kill his mantis legs. I threw a bomb and ran under it as I blew it up. That's a smart move. How did I not die from that? I don't know, but I'll take it. Alright, that goes his face. Whoa. I finally killed his friend, baby, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Come on, hit him! I'm running low on time! There we go. Whoa. There we go. Whoa! And this is what's supposed to happen. You get a gold card for doing that, but... Wow! First time I actually get him down to this point and I kill him instantly. Finally! Also, the first few times you fall off the edge here, so you can fall between the spider web lines. The first time you fall between the edge, Sirius will catch you, since he's such a kind person. Oh. <sighs> Hey, you know what this means? The force field's gone! We can enter the next world whenever we're ready. We won't be going there just yet. Because we've still got some unfinished business left in White Glacier. Stage 1 and s Stage 3. Luckily, I did manage to beat Mantis with all the gold cards that time, so... I only got these two stages to go, so... Next time on Let's Play Bondman 64, I'm going to be going back and getting those 8 gold cards that I'm missing in White Glacier. 
hope it doesn't take as long as Red Mountain. 